Hey, any fish? 17th of May, 2018. And I just want to show you something kind of weird here that fits very much with what we were looking at the other day concerning the great seal. 13. Because they decided to put this article out this morning with some nice images of their satanic ritual sacrifice here last year in the early morning hours of June 14th, 2017. And that's what this was. 71 people died. But the first thing that came into my mind was to check to see how long ago that was. And that was June 14th, 2017 to today. And this is how weird things work in my mind, okay? What I really see here is 13. Again, reminding me of the rebellion. It's also 11 months and 3 days, 13. 48 weeks and 1 day, 4, 8, 12, 1, 13. So I see all these 13s. So then I just go to the regular news feed that I use. I got a couple. I use this headline generator where I just found that article. And Drudge, those are like my primary ones. So I do that real quick to check. And I start seeing another little pattern here. You got one in three Americans has less than 5,000 in savings. There's multiple ones here that I want to show you. I mean, it's just crazy. And this is the last few days, right? Here's that one. One third of Americans, one out of three, have less than $5,000. And even the numbers in here, 2003, the 23, 33, it kind of goes on. 46%. It's very strange. And, and, and there's like a pattern I see again. Everything you need to know about 13 reasons why before season two. Okay, and look at this came out on the 13th at 1058, 13. It's just the thing that I see. 13 reasons why, 11 million. It goes on and on. It's just really weird. 13 new episodes. And I haven't even looked into this show. I'm sure it's very, very strange knowing Netflix. But apparently it's very popular. 13 reasons why. Well, I see the rebellion. I, I see this one. An article about uh, 13 contractors doing construction in Edinburgh. It just caught my eye. 13 and 46. All these weird things. And again, these are just the last, you know few days 13 dead and hundreds hospitalized in cambodia poisonous runoff again this was the 13th very strange 13 dead 13 it just these are just strange this was right on the 14th 1744 13 bad habits that might be good for you so more mumbo jumbo but more numbers in here you know 53 percent three thousand for 10 years 13 and pretty much every one of these articles we could go through and pick out all these little strange things this was uh yesterday one dead three injured in a sword attack 13 i'm just telling you man this is like really weird and the time is a nine eleven I just see these things. I try not to sometimes because I see it everywhere. Get a load of this one. This is crazy. And I could really read into this one. Uh, this is uh, from yesterday. 13-year-old boy fled kidnappers shoeless. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This, this short little article is just bizarre. But it's so wild. 13. And then this one here. This one really got me. The picture won't come up here. But Maryland bans gay conversion for minors. That, that pretty much means that you can't read the Bible to them. To explain to them the truth about human sexuality. But the weird thing I saw about this was Maryland is now the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 
13th state to basically begin to ban the Bible. That's what it is. And Hawaii at the last of the list, which is currently burning. And I saw this article. It was just strange. I wanted to read what the heck it meant by, you know, violated Obama-era diversion. So I start reading into it. You get a few paragraphs in, and look, it's like, files obtained show that he committed 58 infractions and never was really, you know, addressed. 58. 13. Just the stuff I see. That's all. And it all comes from them putting up this image today at 631. I see that again, too. And we could go into so many things, but this was a satanic ritual. I'm just telling you, this is this is exactly how this world operates. It's all just this underlying deception to keep you from God. It, it, it's so simple that it's like almost laughable, but it's not a laughing matter. You need God and you need to understand who Jesus was and what he did in order to, number one, see the world, to see the truth. You know, so then you can clearly understand that you're in a spiritual war. And all you need to do is look towards God, accept Jesus. It, it, you know, he came specifically to wipe your record clean. All you need to do is believe on him and accept it. That he spilled his blood to atone for the world, both the Jew and the Gentile. So get saved because this stuff is just getting more and more frequent and closer and closer. You can just smell it. You can see these little demons at work. And then they leave this monument to their sacrifice up for the world to see day after day. How come they didn't leave up the trade towers to inspect and uh, leave the pile of rubble there? to uh, inspect it all and get all the details. They've done this for almost a year here. Nope, nope, get that trade tower rubble right out of here. Dump it in the ocean, burn it, melt it. Thank you, Giuliani. Thank you, George W. Thank you, Mr. Rumsfeld. I mean, these people are nothing more than deceivers, you know? And they just put on different skin to lead you down the next path for the next part of the agenda to be filled. What you're seeing is the rebellion against God. That's what you're seeing. And that's the best way I know how to explain it. So, saw that this morning and thought I'd share it with you real quick. So, there you go, guys. Hope you're having a good week. Peace and grace to all of you. Seek Jesus today. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 